Hello everyone, this video is for the beginner who wants to learn Jupyter Notebook. If you already installed Anaconda, you can see the Jupyter is installed on your development environment. You can easily say Conda, Conda list, grab the Jupyter. Also, you can say the PIP list, grab Jupyter. You can say in both way. Anyway, if you cannot see the Jupyter here, that means you don't have the Jupyter now. You need to install Jupyter Notebook before this video. Well, I highly recommend you install Anaconda before this video because Anaconda has the Jupyter Notebook, also has another libraries for your machine learning or the data science. You can also install the Jupyter Notebook using the PIP list and PIP install, but I highly recommend to have the Anaconda, which has all the libraries you need for the machine learning course. Okay, so I will presume that you already have the Jupyter Notebook, so I'm going to say Jupyter Notebook. This is the command to open the Jupyter Notebook in your favorite browser. For mine is the Chrome. So you can see the Chrome here and the Jupyter is here. I'm going to click on the new and click Python 2. So this is a new Jupyter Notebook. I'm going to give the video how to use the Jupyter on here, new Jupyter Notebook. All right. First, I want to highlight that this one code. I'm going to change this one as markdown so that I can put the document here. So I'm going to say here I have the headings. I'm going to put these guys here, copy and paste. And as you can see here, the hash mark and the document and two hash mark. So the hash mark means it's a heading. Hash mark one is heading one, two hash mark is heading two, as you can see, the size is a little bit different, and I'm going to run this cell using this run cell. <clears throat> so here you can see, this is the document, right? So you can click the run cell here, but after all, I'm going to use just shortcut key. So the shortcut key for this run cell is the shift enter, shift enter. So if I go here and uh, click on shift enter, this will run this cell, same. And uh, if we click Alt Enter, Alt Enter is the running this cell and uh, put insert inside, insert next cell like this. Okay? And the other shortcut key I'm going to use is a split shell. If I want to split this shell, what is Jupyter Notebook, and I want to put another cell after it, then I can click this one and uh, edit and uh, split cell then you can see it's split it, right? And I can click Alt Enter here. Then this is the document. I can put some document here as well. So what is the Jupyter Notebook? I will put the markdown because I will put the document again. And uh, the Jupyter Notebook is, what is Jupyter? So Jupyter Notebook is this. Paste here, I'm going to click Shift Enter. All right, so what is Jupyter Notebook? So Jupyter Notebook is the open source web application that allows you to create and share the document that contains your live code, like Python code, and the equation, and the visualization. So how do we code here in the Jupyter Notebook? So I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to click the Ctrl Shift minus to split this one, and I'm going to click on the Alt enter so that I can put another cell below the live code example document here. So here, make sure this is code now because I'm going to give the code here. I will use the Python here. So let me say plus 3 plus 4 and shift enter and this will result 7, right? 3 plus 4 is 7. Alt enter so that I can create more functions here. I'm going to say, okay, I need one function, add function a and b and then return just a plus b here all right alt enter or shift enter okay this is the function so i'm going to put alt enter i'm going to use this function i'm going to give 3 and 5 and i uh, hit uh, shift enter okay 3 plus 5 is 8 okay so you can see the live code is working in the jupyter notebook now we have the live code now we have the document so now you understand this jupyter notebook works we all work with your Python code plus documentation here. So your question may be, oh, in the Python code, you can put something comment like this. Okay, here maybe you can want to put some comment here. This is adding function, right? This is adding function. 
All right, this is working. Yes, right. The Python code, you can put some document in the code. But what's the advantage of the Jupyter Notebook is from here, equation. <clears throat> so I'm going to click on here, Ctrl Shift minus, split this one and Alt Enter so that I can put some equation here. For example, if we want to put something like, uh, if we saw code and if we want to put something like x square plus y square plus z square, z square in the, um, maybe in the squared root, sqrt. Uh, this is a comment and uh, as a software engineer, I can understand this one. You may understand this one, but uh, not everybody can understand this one. But how about this? See, Alt Enter, I'm going to change this one as Markdown. I'm going to put the equation here. So equation, I'm going to use this one. Okay, copy this one and paste. And Alt Enter. Okay, how about this? So if you use the Python code command, maybe developers can understand this one, but the, the others may not. But if you put the document like this in your Python code, then that this is much easier to understand. It's more it's better readability, right? So you can put more equation than this one. So I'm going to give more example here. See, here's more example. So make sure this is markdown. So change code to the markdown. And I give this one and I hit the shift enter. So more examples here, open new tab. So you can go here. So <clears throat> I gave some square root and the square, but you can see something sigma or alpha matrix or the others, right? So you can use any other equations for the data science in the Jupyter Notebook, which cannot be in your Python command. That's the most powerful document functionality in the Jupyter Notebook. All right, next is the visualization. So I'm going to split this one and the art enter here. Okay, images. How can you put the image in the Jupyter Notebook? That's so easy. So I'm going to give one example here. I'm going to put this one from IPython display. Here, enter. This is cool, so I'm going to just click Shift Enter. Okay, this is just Jupyter logo. And you can change the width and height with maybe 200 and the height maybe 50 here. And then run it again. Then that image size will be yeah, smaller like this one. Then how about the video? Okay, video, Ctrl Shift minus, and I'm going to put the art enter here. Okay, I'll give the video example here. So the video is here. I'm going to give the one of my YouTube video. So just copy and paste, and the Shift Enter. As you can see, now you can see my YouTube video in your the Jupyter Notebook with your code, which is cool. So the next one is table, Ctrl Shift minus. Okay, I'm good at it. Table and uh, Alt, enter. I'm going to give one table here using the pandas. So pandas is here, table. I'm going to import the pandas first and going to use one CSV file in the internet. So shift enter. All right, now you can see the table. So I'll use the countries.csv file in the internet and I just show so 10 rows here. So from this CSV file, you can show that the country, 10 countries here from the A to maybe Z. All right, so it's very easy to show the table in the Jupyter Notebook as well. All right, the next one is a chart. So I'm going to click Ctrl Shift minus and Alt Enter. I will give the one of the chart example using the Matplot library. Matplot library is here. So import the Matplot library. I'm going to show the plot just using this one. So I paste, okay, and uh, shift enter. Nope. So matplot library pyplot as plot invalid syntax. Okay, import I forgot I here. All right. So we can show the plot like this chart. I will give you more example here. Alt enter. Okay, more example. So matplot library is most powerful chart. Um, the Python library. So I'm going to give you more example. So change this one as markdown and uh, give some more example here and I uh, click new tab here. Then uh, in this page, uh, Metplot library organization, you can see many examples here so that you can visualize your code in the chart. You can practice yourself with these examples. All right, go back. 
The last one is the performance check. How can you check your code performance? That's very important when you are presenting your implementation for research paper, right? So we can use time it function here. So percent time it. That's it. Percent time it three plus four. Then that this will calculate how long does it take for three plus four? It took thirty one point three nanosecond. So how about if we use the function we made time it add well, 3, 3 plus 4, right? So if we do this one, then this add function is exactly the same with this function. So the performance of this function is 158 nanoseconds. Wow, right? Five times slower. So when you code, you need to make the code simpler and the faster. So compare this one, and you can use the faster one using the time it. Another example for this one, so if you say double percent like this, then this time it will work on entire cell, not the one single line. So if you use this one, let me give you one example here. Okay, so here is the example. So for this one, so this is basically we have one array, one, two, three, and basically return uh, two, three, four, with just adding one on each item. It took five, 77 nanoseconds. Then how about this? So if I do the same thing in different format. So in here, we just use one liner, which is simpler and uh, faster. So here, the second example, I just used the normal four iteration. It took one microsecond. It's like uh, 577, so it's like uh, two times slower, right? So this one, if I use a one-liner, it's uh, two times faster than the normal four iteration. So you can compare, and uh, you can use a simpler and the faster using Jupyter Notebook, using this time function inside. So I think this is most of it of this tutorial. I showed most popular tips in the Jupyter tutorial, this video, okay? I think this is most of this tutorial, and uh, uh, you can also import this one as HTML here, maybe, okay. Make a copy and a new notebook, revert and print preview download as Python or notebook, also it supports HTML. So you can change this one as an HTML format, and then, all right, then uh, this one is HTML, right? So you can share this HTML or IPython notebook, Jupyter notebook to the other guys so that the other developer can see your code with documentation. So it helps you to share and uh, co-work with other developers. I hope this video helps you a lot for the beginners, as a beginners, to get to know about the Jupyter notebook. All right, thank you very much, and I will see you on the next video.